Hey guys, today we're gonna be making color palette with using React and we're gonna have 10 colors showing here and then once we click on a color we're gonna have some box shadow that separates them from the other colors. We're gonna change the color here to white and then once we click that number we're gonna say get something that says copied and the actual color which is gonna disappear every three seconds and then if we paste that we're gonna have color column and then the actual color here so if you wanted to paste the color you can just copy and paste it directly into your css we don't need to add anything else and i'm gonna be working in code sandbox here to make this so let's create a react sandbox and the first thing i want to make is i want to add a dependency that's going to be a called react uh, copy to clipboard that we're going to use to copy the color. So react dash copy dash to dash clipboard. So this one. And if you're not inside sandbox, you can search for that. So react copy to clipboard. I'm going to leave this link in the description as well. This is how you would install it. And then here, this is the way of how you import it in your app. So we're going to use the same way to import it in our app here. And we're also going to import uh, two hooks we're going to use. We're going to use use state and we're going to also use use effect hook. So let's import that right now. And the first thing we're going to have is we're going to have an array of colors or 10 colors. And I'm just going to paste these colors. So you guys can copy these. Pause the video and copy them from here. So these are all the colors we're going to be using. And then we want to have two states under that. One is going to be for the background of the body. And the other one is going to be the state for showing the, the current color. So because we have 10 and we're only going to be displaying one. So let's make the first state that's going to be for the background. So we can call it background set background and that's going to be equal to use state and then we can add a color here we'll just add an empty string for now and then let's add some color you guys can mm -hmm, put any color you want here and then under that we want to make a state that's going to keep track of the current color so we can call it current and set current and we're gonna set that equal to use state null. Like that. And then the first thing we wanna do inside our app, we wanna add style equals, and then we wanna change the background of the app. And we're gonna set it equal to this state we made, which is also called background. So this is the background of the body at the beginning. Or that, not the body. Then inside our app, we can remove h1 and h2. And we also want to output the text here that says which color we copied, but we're going to have a if statement here. So we're going to check if the current, which is our state, which is null at beginning. So if it's not equal to null, we can add end end. So if only if this is not equal to null, we want to render our component here, or in our case, h1. And this is just going to say copied. So copy it and then inside of this we want to add current which is going to be that color we're going to get. And under that thing we want to make a div with a class name of container. And here inside of this div we're going to map over our colors here. So we can add curly braces and our array is called colors. So colors.map. And then for each color. So what do we want to do for each color? So the first thing we want to output is a div with a class name of child. So let's do that first. So div class name child. Let's close the div here. And I also forgot to add, so let's add parentheses here and here because we also want to pass the index and we're going to use that for key of the card. So key equals index like this. And then inside of that card, we're going to have both copy to clipboard and we're also going to have a box which is going to represent this, this color right here. 
So the first thing we're gonna make is a div with class name of box. Uh, we can close that as well. And then inside that box, what we wanna do? So the first thing we wanna add a click event to the actual box. So our background at the beginning is this. So that's the background. But once we click the box, we want to get the color of the box and set that as background of the app, if that makes sense. So we we can just uh, let's add some styles actually first, so we can see what's happening on the page. So we're just going to add some styles here. I'm going to remove margin and padding first, and add a box sizing. And then we want to make our app 100% in width and height, just so we are able to see everything. So with 100%, height 100 VH, and we're also going to display flex. Then we can target this H1 here, which is, if we go back, this H1 right here. We're going to add a few styles for that as well here. So we wanna we only wanna center it horizontally on the page here. And then we have a few more styles. One is gonna be for the container, it holds everything. This is to center it on the page. I'm gonna make it full width and I'll uh, add some at the max width, but it's gonna be like 590 pixels. It's not gonna go over that. Add display flex. Justify content space between and flex wrap to wrap the boxes or cards we have. And then we can target the same thing. So container card. I have a max width of 100 pixels, a bit of margin on the top and bottom, and we're gonna align the text. And we're we we'll have a few more styles, so we're gonna target the same thing and then the paragraph inside of them. This is also gonna have a bit of margin top and bottom, font weight of 600 and cursor of pointer. And the last thing we wanna add in our CSS, we can copy container card again here and we're gonna target the box. So box is this the first div inside our card here that we made. So we also want to make that 100%. We want to add a height of 100 pixels. Or the radius 12 pixels. And cursor of pointer. So right now, as you see, this is the background on the app coming from this state, which is background here, as we mentioned before. So what we want to do now in this box once we click the box, so let me make the space here. So we're going to make a, add a click event on the box here. So on click, we're going to pass the arrow function. And we're going to set the background, which is our function that updates the state. And we want to set it to whichever color we clicked on here. So we're going to pass the color here. So that's the first thing we want to do. But we're still not seeing the colors anyway. And then we also want to add the style to this box. So the box here already has width and height. So they're all there. They just don't have background. As you can see, we can see the cursor still. So we want to add style to the box. And we're going to have a few things. So let's move this into next line. So the first thing we want to have is the background. So background is going to be equal to the color. So this color right here. And now we see the boxes. Then the next thing we want to add a filter that's going to be brightness. And we're going to set that to 85%. 
And then finally here we also want to add a box shadow. So we can do box shadow. This. So in for box shadow we're going to check if the color which we are getting here is equal to the background. So if this color right here from any box is equal to the background of the app. Only then we want to add the box shadow to that specific one. So if that's true, we want to add a box shadow that's going to be 0, 0, 5 pixels, and it's going to be black, so 0, 0, 0. Else we don't want to add anything here. Right? And then the final thing we need to do is add a copy to clipboard. So if you remember, we imported that earlier. So here, if we check under our box, so this is our container, this is our card, and this is our box. So here, we want to add that copy to clipboard. And it's going to have both opening and closing brackets. And inside of copy to clipboard, we want to render a paragraph. And this paragraph is going to display the color. So one from the array. As you can see here, and the text. So a copy to clipboard takes a parameter called text, and we can if we set that equal to color, that's gonna work. But that's only gonna copy the actual color. But we wanna append a string before that. So we're gonna wrap that in template literals here, and we're gonna say color, and then we wanna display the actual color here, and at the end we wanna add a semicolon. And then for the actual uh, paragraph here that displays the color, we want to add an on click event. So once we click the paragraph, we're going to pass an arrow function. And we want to set the current color or set current state we have to this color we clicked on. And then finally, here we also want to add a style for the paragraph itself. And the style is going to be color. So we want to change the color. And how we're going to change that, we are going to check if the color state, or not a state, the color array that we are mapping through is equal to the background of the app, or our background state. And if it is, we want to make them white. Otherwise, we just want to add color here. So how this works, so if the color is equal to background, which is only equal when we click on it, the text is going to become white. Otherwise, the text is going to become color, which is any of these. So all the values here are going to be equal to the color on the box. So now if we click on this, you can see that this text becomes white because we added it here. Because now this color is equal to the background. Maybe it doesn't seem like it is, but that's because we have the brightness here and the box shadow. So we can see this much better since it's going to be the same as background. And it's going to happen for each one of them. Right? And then what else do we need to do? If we click this now, it's going to say copy it and the color. But if we actually go here and paste that, it's going to say color and then the actual color here. So the only thing that's left, it's actually removing this after three seconds or whichever time you guys want to remove it on. So for that, let's close this or minimize it. And we're going to add use effect for that. So let's add use effect here as an arrow function. And right now we're just going to leave it empty. So the first thing we want to do here is you want to set timeout of 3 seconds or 2 seconds, whichever time. But we also need to remove that timeout. So we're going to make a variable called timeout ID. And that's going to be equal to set timeout. And that set timeout, we're going to set up 3 seconds here. So after every 3 seconds, what we want to do is, as you can see here, so this text only shows if current is not equal to now. So in our case, once we click, the current is not equal to now anymore. But here, we want to set it back to now, so the text is hidden here. Because this is only going to render if current is not equal to now. 
So we can just set current to now here. And under that, we want to return an empty arrow function or a cleanup function. And we're going to have clear timeout. And inside of this, we want to pass a variable name we made, which is timeout ID. And this use effect now would only run once when the page loads, but we wanna we want it to run every time our current state changes. So this state, which is now. So every time that changes, this is gonna fire. Then let's reload this page now. So let's set this to one so you guys can see it better. So if we click the color, that goes away after one second. So if we set that to five, and let's click another color. Now this is going to wait for 5 seconds and it's going to be gone. And then if we go here and paste that color, that's the one we got. So FC rest 63A4. And maybe we want to get this one. So let's try that next to this. As you can see that got the, same, the different color right here. And we're just going to set this back to 3 seconds. And now we're able to click, change the background of the app. We're also changing this to white so it's easier to see. We're adding the text shadow because the background is the same uh, like the app. And we can also copy any color by just clicking on the actual color. It's going to say that we did copy it. And then once we go and paste it, we're going to get the full color, which you can just paste into your CSS. And that would be it for this tutorial, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.